What's going on guys? Today is my first actual drift event day and I'm looking I'm looking forward to it. Um we just got everything unloaded. taken care of all that's good um, we're about to do driver's meeting get everything situated and then it's gonna be go time super freaking excited um, I'm sitting in my truck because it was on letting some batteries charge up and all that and then uh, we will be uh, driving shortly so it's pretty bright out here right now so we're gonna we're gonna get this thing going so you all will be part of the journey so um, here's to the first drift event what's going on guys uh, we are now doing an update um, we've gone out we've done a couple of donuts and we've tried to link up the mini course getting that figured out it's a little bit of a learning curve concerning all I've done is figure eights and donuts right Dylan he said yep but um, it's just a slow process getting it figured out but um, I think we uh, we're doing good I think uh, one issue we've come across is that I'm running the corners too tight I need to let it edge out and swing itself and you know just do its own thing versus me trying to force it all the time which is pretty much what I do I just sling it around and then I spin out and then I'm like why did I spin out and then I realize why look at that that's freaking clean I like that I like to see that thing drift but uh so far so good I'm gonna try to get some video in car I'm gonna let Dylan take the camera and do a little video work and pretty much so far so good so we're out here hitting it so can't wait to see what the rest of the day holds. Let's hit it. Hey, right? <laughs>
So, I mean, I'm at a loss of words because the chart is running fantastic. It's running amazing. We just did a little short course run here and we were actually connecting the corners and it felt really, really good. But yeah, as you can see, we were connecting the corners. I'm figuring it out. At first, I was snapping it too hard and trying to force it, and instead of just relaxing and letting it flow itself through the corners, which once I started doing it, let off the gas, let the wheel speed catch up, push the momentum for the truck, then the rotation would happen and the transition, and then we were good to go. So we're out here learning. I'm gonna try and get some in-car footage, out-car footage, get as much footage as possible. Um, truck's running great, so we're gonna keep at it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video uh i really do appreciate the support the channel has gotten over the past couple months uh it's great to see the growth that we've gotten and the support that we've gained um it means a lot to me um it's been a week and some days since the event so i've had time to review some videos and look at photos kind of talk with people that were there watching with me and watching me as I go and, you know, giving me pointers and all that. And I'm um, figuring out some strategies to and, and better myself as I go into the next event. Uh, one thing I'm definitely going to do is I'm going to change up my line. I'm going to try to run a little bit wider of a line because I was really dive bombing corners. And that's not good. That's how you end up hitting a wall or something. And I may or may not have gotten close a couple times. Definitely don't want to be doing that all the time. Um, I just really appreciate all the support um it was a really really great day um no issues with the truck other than we ran out of fuel but that's a good sign that means we had a really long day and a fun day and a fill uh, fun filled day um just super thankful there was no issues um it was just a, a great day for the truck and for me to get out there and learn some more so um just make sure to like this video send it to someone that would enjoy this um Make sure you drop a like and comment something else you want to see on the channel. And uh, without further ado, if you've made it this far in the video, check this out.